created by Brett. Yeah. Hey, it's Brett, and I'm in my kitchen because I'm making applesauce. So I peeled 10 apples and I cut them up into pieces like this. And then my secret trick, which makes it super healthy and delicious, is not to use water and sugar. And most applesauce recipes will just tell you to cut up a bunch of apples, put in some water, put in some sugar, and boil them for a while. Well, that's not the created by Brett way to do it. See, instead of using water and sugar, because water just gets rid of the apple flavor and then sugar just makes it sweeter, you actually use apple juice. And any brand will do, I just happen to be using this stuff. Now typically for 10 apples, I'd use about a cup, maybe three quarters cup, something like that. But I didn't plan so good, and this is my second batch, and I only have that much left. Eh, I think it'll be okay. Just kind of dump that in. And you gotta add cinnamon too. I do about that much. So like two tablespoons. You just put it on the stove, uh, medium heat for 20 minutes. Okay, I got that wrong. 10 minutes. And then stir it up a bit. Get all that cinnamon around, get some of the hot stuff from the bottom, mix it up with the cold stuff on the top. Mmm, that's gonna be good! And then set the timer for another 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes is up, take the lid off, stir it again, you get all the ah, steam and whatnot. And now, this is the exciting part. Do it for another 10 minutes. Shut up. With the lid off because then that lets all the steam and unnecessary watery stuff boil away and it becomes more of a syrup and it's all like super sweet and deliciously apple-y. So now your applesauce is about 4,000 degrees and it's just sitting there in a bunch of big chunks. So this is probably something you should do when it's cold when you've waited maybe 20 minutes or half an hour or something for it to cool off, but I like to do it now, and this is another Brett Julie secret technique. So you gotta mush it up, leave a few chunks. This is a really bad idea, because it's probably splattering scary hot apple chunks. So then you have some applesauce with some chunks in it. Then you gotta wait for it to cool down for like half an hour, 40 minutes or something so you can put it in your mouth without catching on fire. I got another quick trick while we're waiting. I have to clean these stupid beaters, so I just put some soapy water in a bowl. And then I do that. I think those are pretty clean. So it's been like half hour, 45 minutes, and it's probably plenty cooled off by now. So you want to mix up the chunky part with the squishy part that you, I, blended. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good, it's all apple and delicious, and doesn't even have any sugar in it. I'm the best chef in the world! So now your applesauce is about 4,000 degrees and it's just sitting there and it's a bit, bunch of...